Good afternoon, ครับ everyone. Okay, nice to know that, ครับ James, b e a t a n a w a t นะครับ and the rest of you, นะครับ b i t c h a p a t as well. Okay, um, now, นะครับ g a n t i n a n t o Okay, let's see uh, what we studied on the last class. Nah, on the last class we talk about infrastructure and uh, things that we have to use. Nah, for our um, e-commerce. Nah, that are like the internet, web, and mobile platform. Nah, on the last time we talked about the internet. Nah, world wide web. Nah, and the, the evolution of the internet. From 1961 until now, we talk about the key technology concepts that we had in the internet. Um, in order to just like uh, make and um, support the technology for the e-commerce, <clears throat> sorry, e-commerce nowadays. So um, we talk about the um, protocol and the suites that we have. Um, to use นะครับ as a standard one that is TCP/IP and it's um, the protocol suites นะครับ that we have got including HTTP, Telnet, FTP, SMTP นะครับ Ethernet, Token Ring, Frame Relay and ATM นะครับ in order to support the architecture layers that are from the lowest one that is network interface layer นะครับ um, to internet layer to host to host transport layer and the top one is the application layer so um, we also talk about the IP address, นะครับ that is IP version four and IP version six, นะครับ that is just like the generation that um, we use to identify the address of the um, um, communicating devices, นะครับ when the time goes by. The currently um, the current one, นะครับ we are still using IP version four and IP version six together, นะครับ um, around the world. But right now there are like some researchers, นะครับ trying to find the domain name, นะครับ the DNS in order to support um, the ad address of the communicating devices instead of IP addresses, นะครับ because um, the computer scientists and computer engineers found that soon นะครับ IP version 6 will be just like used up anyway so it might be better if you can just use the name instead นะครับ um, but that one is still in the laboratory level in the research level นะครับ it's not um, used in just like um, um, the commercialized one so นะครับ we also talk about the domain name and the URLs นะครับ um, we the things that you have to know นะครับ is that for the domain name is the way that we just like have to set up for our e-commerce to let the um, users นะครับ or consumers to go to visit our e-commerce website um, instead of using the IP address นะครับ actually um, in the past before we had the domain name, whenever we would like to communicate or sending the email นะครับ or sending the um, data to another computer, we had to identify by using IP addresses only. But right now, it, it is in terms of natural language, นะครับ in terms of domain name, so that the customer can remember easily, นะครับ for our um, e-commerce website or platform that we have got, นะครับ um, for the domain name, it is developed under the domain name system or DNS นะครับ that allows numeric IP addresses to express in natural language. That means you need to have somebody นะครับ or some um, organization that is used um, that could help controlling the domain name system as well. นะครับ that means you have to register นะครับ that domain name นะครับ to be used in order to let like your customer to contact you and it's not repeated with like some other um, um, company. Uh, um, in order to access to the web, uh, we just like let the users to use uniform resource locator or URL uh, to identify the location of content on the web. Uh, for example, in here, um, it is um, HTTP Double um, colon double forward slashes worldwideweb.asimuth 
interactive.com slash flat test นะครับ this is the URL นะครับ the full URL that um, the users use in order to just like access to that location of the content on the web นะครับ the next thing นะครับ that we have to know is about the client server computing this one นะครับ the powerful personal computers or the clients are connected to the network with one or more servers So servers perform their common functions for the client, นะครับ such as storing files, um, provide the service for the software applications, or access to um, devices such as printers, scanners, and so on. For the new client, นะครับ that um, people nowadays use more and more to access to the internet. to the e-commerce platform or website นะครับ that is the mobile platform um, mobile platform here can be in term of tablets or smartphones and also we include the wearable gadgets like um, the smart watches or like um, such as the apple watches as well นะครับ that is able to connect to the mobile platform in order to purchase something นะครับ Um, in a few years, primarily internet access will be through tablets, supplementing PC for sub, um, for mobile situations and smartphone like disruptive technology because there are shift in processors, นะครับ and operating systems. You can see that right now we have the um, couple of standard one that people now they use on their mobile for uh, mobile platform, including um um Android and iOS, นะครับ In here, and um, you can see that some of the companies, such as Huawei, they also just like try to develop their own operating systems as well. นะครับ And um, smartphone right now in this one because um, the information from the um, textbook, นะครับ It just like um, goes slower than in the research right now. Right now, it's more than 60% of the smartphone become all the sorry, more than 60% of all cell phones are smartphone already. นะครับ People use the regular cell phone less and less. นะครับ Okay, right. Um, the um reason is because from the Moore's law, the price of the processors นะครับ are cheaper and cheaper. So that's why instead of having a cell phone that has the small screen. And use just the buttons only. They can just like have the um, smartphone with a cheap price. Okay. The next one is the cloud computing. For the cloud computing, um, firms and individuals obtain computing power and software over the internet. Such as we have the set of the suite of Google Apps or Google Suite that you can just use, or we have the Microsoft um, Suite as well. That is cloud-based. Um, so in the cloud computing here, um, for the commercial software, they also be on the cloud computing as well. For example, when we talk about the enterprise software such as SAP, they are um, they have the cloud-based version as well. That means you can just like have the SAP instead of installing everything on the server. นะครับ um, you can just like um, subscribe on um, cloud. System, นะครับ But anyway, um, SAP still just like would like the customer to responsible for their own cloud. They may just like setting up their corporate cloud in order to let um, the um, users in the organizations, นะครับ to log in into the um, cloud service that their company set up, นะครับ Let's say they have set up the SAP software, นะครับ That is the enterprise software on their own corporate cloud. That means um, all the clients that um, have to use SAP. Let's say um, I have my um, laptop that I would like to connect to SAP. I have I don't need to install anything on my laptop computer. I just use my browser to connect it. Some of the executive who would like to use the SAP, I have. Um, but they don't have. Um, they don't want to bring their laptop. They don't have. Um, um, Their own PC at the office. They can use iPad. They can use smartphone to connect it to connect to that SAP on the cloud base as well. But anyway, the reason why we call it as the um, corporate cloud is that you set up the server as a cloud server in your company. 
นะครับ and also every anyone who would like to use your internal data has to connect to the VPN first before they can access to this cloud server นะครับ okay so cloud computing is the fastest growing form of computing because it does not limit you on the investment on the server and also um, the company doesn't need to have um, I mean the physical server that is responsible by um, the um, IT people in the company. For the company who do not have the IT people or IT department, they still be able to use the public cloud that is a cloud computing as well. Some of the software, the corporate software that can be integrated with the e-commerce such as we call it as Salesforce. Uh, Salesforce is a software that just like help in order to let the company to just like um, promoting their um, um, products and services in order to just like set up the call center in order to set up something like marketing plans uh, um, to connect to your e-commerce website. There are cloud services uh, when you would like to use that um, Salesforce software in your company. You just like um, contact the um, Salesforce software um, consultants. Uh, they will just like suggest you, and then they just like come to get together the requirements, what you want, how many users you want, and then you just pay per each users. It might be let's say um, ten dollars per month, uh, something like that. If I'm not wrong, it's ten to fifteen dollars per month per one user. Uh, that you can access. Um, as a license um, of Salesforce software uh, to help just like selling the products. That means you can have just like the front end uh, as a web in order to let your customer to purchase uh, and see the product catalogs. But anyway, the back end are all in Salesforce, uh, something like that. So it is fastest growing from form of computing and it's radically reduces cost of building and operating websites because some of the cloud um, computing, uh, they also have the template for you that you can select. You don't need to just like create everything by yourself. Uh, infrastructure or IT support, because if you use a public cloud, uh, the things that you need to have in your office is that you may have just like one laptop in order to connect, in order to update your product catalog, in order to just like uh, print some of the reports, something like that. If you would like to have a report in terms of PDF or printing in terms of papers, uh, um, hardware and software as well, because you can bring your own hardware if you have. Uh, the software, you um, it, it is not the, um, what to say, Windows-based anymore or Mac OS base anymore. You can use any platform that you can um, that you would like to um, install. They may they may say that okay, if it is a cloud computing, um, the basic thing that you need to have is the web browser, uh, and the internet connection. Just that, uh, you can just like use these kind of services easily. Uh, in terms of e-commerce, um, these kind of cloud computing are um popularly used as well because um, in the past anyone who had to just like develop their own e-commerce website uh, on the back end side for front end okay I know that all of the students you can just like do it because you just like study for courses related to programming related to mobile uh, programming or web programming already but in terms of back end, you have to know that the difficulties are about like the business process and about ac accounting that you may not know the idea at all. The things that we have normally the, the, the computer scientists know is that how to collect the data and process the data in database, just that. By the way, the calculation in terms of just like um, accounting, you need to know as well. But when we have the cloud computing where they provide just like the part of the accounting inside the software, the things that we have to do is that we just like store the data um, of just like the purchasing or business transactions uh, into their software correctly. And then they can process everything for you according to our setup. Uh, so that means sometimes in the reality, when we have to develop our own um, e-commerce, platform or website, 
the things that we do is that we do the front end นะครับ and middle end that means you just like prepare the data and the logs in our database only นะครับ and the back end we we need to have the consultant นะครับ of that software of the enterprise software to help telling you or clarifying that okay for that business transaction for example นะครับ if we say that we sell um risk watches นะครับ we are risk watches Um, trader on the internet, and we say that okay, it is popular because somebody purchased a wristwatch as an investment. Then we may have like the function to trade the watch, that the customer can just like um, take the photos of their watches and then sell it to us, or we can sell the new watches or um, second um, second hand watches. นะครับ In our um, e-commerce website as well. Okay, we know just like this. We have the database to collect the images, to have the image processing um, features in order to just like detect the model and whatever thing. Um, by the way, the back end, when we purchase one um, wristwatch, let's say we purchase for one million bahts. Okay, then we say that okay the The money will be sent, นะครับ will be withdraw to that um that person in the next seven days after we prove that the uh, watch is the um the genuine and they don't change any parts inside already, นะครับ so this amount one million baht for sure is recorded in our database and it must be sent to that cloud computing software as well that okay. Uh, we are expected to pay 1 million in the next seven day. So that means in the next seven day, the check will be printed. นะครับ But anyway, the programs that we use to print the check is that cloud computing software. It is not the part of the e-commerce thing. นะครับ So it depends. So that means you need to have just like the people who develop the the front end part. นะครับ that is like um the people who know about like e-commerce and understand for the um uh, business process about that e-commerce and we have the back end นะครับ for the people who just like know the business process นะครับ inside the company and also the about the um e-commerce of us as well นะครับ so this is the cloud computing that we may use So the next thing is about the protocols and utility programs that we may use. นะครับ Internet protocols such as HTTP, email, SMTP, POP3, and IMAP. นะครับ um, Protocols such as FTP, Telnet, SSL, and TLS. นะครับ May be used. นะครับ With the e-commerce and the utility programs like Pring or Tracer. นะครับ um, The internet today. นะครับ Internet growth has boomed. Without disruption, because of client-server computing model that people use a lot, นะครับ as a basis, our glass or layered architecture, นะครับ because we have network technology substrate, นะครับ um transport services and representation standards, middleware services and applications, that makes the internet growth has boomed, นะครับ you can see that right now, um every Communication devices, นะครับ or um, computing devices use the internet, and you can see that even um, the new technologies that are coming out, such as um, the IoT, นะครับ right now IoT devices, นะครับ has been using um, the internet more and more, นะครับ okay. And this is the hourglass model of the internet. You can see that the layer one. This is the network technology substrates. We have LANs, DSL, wireless, satellite, coaxial cable, fiber optic. This is the first layer. Second layer is about the transport services rep and representation standards. We have um, IP version 4, IP version 6, TCP. For the middleware services, is layer three. We have storage repositories, security, authentication or identify management, file systems, and the top one is the application layer or layer four. 
we have web browser, email clients, media players, image servers, remote logins. นะครับ So these compose นะครับ to be the hours class model นะครับ of the internet. So the next thing นะครับ for the internet network architecture นะครับ we have backbone, IXP and CANs. For backbone นะครับ in each country นะครับ uh, we have high bandwidth fiber optic cable networks, private networks that are owned by a variety of um, national network service providers นะครับ such as like um, for example นะครับ if you would like to rent the private network นะครับ physically you can still just like contact um, the the big of the network service provider นะครับ in the country to just like um, connect your server นะครับ to like the backbone as well นะครับ that are private networks bandwidth นะครับ right now it's increasing not 155 megabit to 2.5 gigabit anymore it's increasing a lot นะครับ and built in redundancy for the IXP นะครับ there are hubs where backbones intersect with regional and local networks and backbone owners connect with one another นะครับ while can นะครับ um, lands operating within a single organization that leases internet access directly from regional or national carrier นะครับ CAN or CAN is campus um, area network นะครับ for like many um, many area of the um, organizations that communicate to each other for example if you have many branches in each in sorry in different provinces นะครับ you may use the CAN for connection as well or some companies they say that they they don't want to use just like the regular internet connection นะครับ they would like to have the the CAN setting up instead that is possible นะครับ for example if we are talking about Mahidol University นะครับ we don't just use the internet connection นะครับ the public internet connection we also have just like the CANs as well that links different campuses together for example นะครับ Um, you can see that if you just like go to Sirat Hospital and you try to connect to the uh, Mahidon's network, you see as if you are in Salaya campus, นะครับ the same thing, นะครับ and other campuses like um, Rama Thibodi campus, นะครับจากกรีนเรือบดิน or กาญจนบุรี campus, นะครับ we have the cans in order to connect the internet and internal networks together. This is the um, diagram to show us about the internet network architecture. So the backbone is um, on the country level. And then we have regional hubs. And then um, we have the regional host to connect different campuses and organizations together. For example, like um, NYU in here, they have T1 line. To connect their campus network and offices in the NYU campus in New York, นะครับ and the client can use the POP3 or SMTP email to check the email, นะครับ of the NYU as well. While the regional host, นะครับ in other cities in New York, they have the domain local ISP, นะครับ to just like connect their computers, นะครับ to the internet. The next one, นะครับ Um, the next key term that is used or drive the internet, นะครับ is the drive sorry drive the e-commerce is the internet service providers or ISPs, นะครับ for the ISP they provide lowest red level of service to individuals, small businesses and some institutions. The type of service that ISP normally provide are um, narrow band, นะครับ like dial right now, นะครับ um, we rarely see it in Many countries around the world นะครับ for the dial-up, but we still have it นะครับ anyway. The next one is broadband ครับ broadband uh, we have digital subscriber line or DSL นะครับ cable modem T1 and T3 and satellite นะครับ for the services that ISP provide นะครับ for public. The intranets นะครับ It is TCPP network located within a single organization for communications and processing. 
That means even though you are outside the um, organization, but you would like to connect as if you are inside, นะครับ you can do it as well. For example, suppose I say that okay, um, I want to print my examination paper into the printer, network printer in my office, let's say, and I am at home. นะครับ I have the secretary who will just like um, make a photocopy this one for me. Instead of sending an email, นะครับ I can log in through the um, intranet, นะครับ and then I can just like um, print, นะครับ or share this file to let my my secretary to see that one to print that um, work, นะครับ um, for the intranet normally it's used by private and government organization for internal networks, including in Maiden universities as well, นะครับ Um, if you can log into the intranet, the page on the intranet work differently from the internet one. The resources that we have got inside the um, university, you can just like log in as if you are inside the university. For example, the online databases, um, that MU, um, MU subscribe for researchers articles something like that that student can access to it you can just like um, log in as the intranet by using the VPN and then you just get those kind of resources so all internet applications can be used in private intranet as well okay so the next one who governs the internet we don't have anyone to control the internet but we have organization that influence the internet and monitor the operation these are the list of the organization that influence internet and monitor operations the one that you may see a lot might be ICANN and W3C these are just like um, the organization that we see many times that um, just like try to influence the internet. Um, by the way, นะครับ because I can, นะครับ I can is under Ministry of Commerce of US, so I can was just like banned by many countries, นะครับ or actually um, many country, not many country, some countries they just like bring the case to the World um, Court of Justice, นะครับ about the I can. Um, Rules and regulations, because you can see that normally, um, when we just like um, use when we would like to use the um, what to say, the domain name, นะครับ the um, the the last part must be controlled by the ICANN, นะครับ you cannot, I mean like, uh, when we say that okay, so when you would like to set up the new um, the new kind of the extension, for example. Um, in the past, you saw that we have .com, .org, .ac, followed by the country and so on. Um, in the past, I can just control it and say that if you would like to set up the new one, you are not allowed to. The yeah, ICANN has to control that one. But right now, you can see that it's open than in the past because like you can just like have more, more extension than in the past. Right? Okay, right. Okay, the next one. Right? For the government regulation and surveillance are important as well. In each country, they also have the government regulations and surveillance. So um, this one, what do they have to control or regulate and surveillance um, for the um, e-commerce? The first one, how is it possible for any government to control or censor the web? In some country, yes. In some country, no. If yes, how do we gonna do? They control at the internet service provider level, cup, and also at the backbone. They also have the control part as well. The next one, cup, does the Chinese government or the U.S. government have the right to censor content of the web? Cup, depends, cup. Okay, in this one, Chinese, yes, they have the right to censor. But anyway, the citizen try to avoid, cup. Or just find an indirect way in order to um, avoid the checking or censoring. But for the US government, they just like try they try to just like censor some part of the um, of the web, even though they try to just like launch the federal law 
but I mean like in term of just like some um, state law, they say that um, people um, have the freedom in order to see the content on the web and the government can that does not have the right to censor it. นะครับ So um, when the time goes by, นะครับ the reg regulation and the surveillance policy of each country can be varied. How should U.S. companies deal with governments that want to censor content? นะครับ um, This one. It's hard to say, นะครับ for the for the dealing, นะครับ in this one, sometimes even though the U.S. government they just like censor some content, um, they have to negotiate, ครับ I think this one the the U.S. companies has to negotiate because actually if the company is registered in the U.S., นะครับ they have to follow the U.S. law, นะครับ anyway, and what would happen to e-commerce if the existing web Split into a different web for each country, นะครับ So in this one, it might be possible, นะครับ Because some countries need to have different um kind of products and services, นะครับ It might be location based, so that's why um it might be possible, ครับ But in the past, it was not, นะครับ Because I mean, like when you go to the website that is the e-commerce website of that company, in the past, นะครับ Products were the same. But right now, you can use the um, geographical area to control as well. Apart from the age of the people, นะครับ It is okay, ครับ It is possible right now. The next one, when we talk about the internet that we have got, นะครับ You also have to know the limitation of the current current internet as well, นะครับ The first one. You have to know that if your um, products or services, I mean your in um, e-commerce platform, requires a lot of bandwidth, do we still have some bandwidth limitations or not? Some of the country, นะครับ um, has to think about the slow peak hour service as well. For example, นะครับ in the very first term that I use Zoom at home, นะครับ for the online course. I had the problem a lot because the time that I used to um, set up the live class, นะครับ um, it's always cost me just like um, a lot of um, internet problem, นะครับ for the for the Zoom connection, นะครับ um, by some internet service provider because it's the peak hours, นะครับ so that's why at that time I had to buy my new um, uh, what to say. Mobile phone plan, so that I can connect my um, Zoom, นะครับ with my mobile phone instead of using the home, um, with it, um, instead of using the home internet, นะครับ and it was better because at that time, not many people use Zoom on um mobile phone much, นะครับ but when the time goes by, the situation is the same, ครับ Right now, doesn't matter whether I use um, home internet or I use the mobile phone internet to connect Zoom. It's the same. I think because right now um, the the bandwidth for um, home internet is improving, and at the same time, the number of people who use um, Zoom on mobile phone is more as well. So you have to think about this one in the future. If You have provided the services, นะครับ that requires just like the real time response. For example, if you say that you develop, นะครับ the in um the e-commerce platform that runs the autonomous taxi, let's say, the things that you have to think is about the bandwidth, นะครับ So at that time, you might see that oh. My my way out is to use 5G chips. นะครับ You may say that okay, I will use um 5G um SIM card. นะครับ Um with my autonomous taxi. But what's the problem? At that time, if lots of people use um um 5G for um the SIM card, and it caused the bandwidth. Um, sorry, it caused a bottleneck at that time. How can you solve the problem? Somebody said that okay, um, you may have just like designed the car in order to have like uh, multiple SIM cards, and then you just like share 
the bandwidth นะครับ among like 4G 5G from different um, companies together something like that it might be possible นะครับ to reduce the bandwidth limitation but you have to know that um, the point that we may have to use 5G is about just like the the quick response time especially for the application such as the um, autonomous car something like that next is quality of service limitation นะครับ about the latency นะครับ or delay time that you have to know network architecture limitations like the identical requests are processed individually the next นะครับ limitation is about wired internet copper and expensive fiber optic cables นะครับ so you may say that okay what about just like using the wireless one but you have to know that some applications the wireless and the stability นะครับ you have to just like trade off between those two of them as well Next is about the Internet 2 project. There are a consortium of 350 plus institutions. They collaborate to facilitate revolutionary internet technologies. Their primary goals are to create leading edge, very high speed network for national research community, to enable revolutionary internet applications and to distribute and collaborate, collaborate computing environments for science, health, art, and humanities initiative. นะครับ this is the move นะครับ from the organization who would like to set up the project to have the um, very high speed network for um, research community as well and I'm sure that นะครับ if it becomes successful there'll be just like um, lots of organizations that are just like commercial um, organizations would like to set up the um, very high speed and a very quick response network as well นะครับ with low latency um, for the next thing นะครับ it's about the first mile and the last mile นะครับ um, we have to think that okay for the first mile and last mile in each internet connection นะครับ um, in different countries might be different ones because right now you can see that for most of us we are in the city นะครับ so for the first mile and last mile might not be a problem for us นะครับ in um, America let's say um, some of the city นะครับ they are far away in order to have the internet connection they may have to use microwave they may have to use just like the satellite signal นะครับ something like that for their their first mile sorry for their last mile so um, in that case you have to think that if you have to just let your customer to contact or to connect to the internet นะครับ um, and they have the problem with the first mile and the last mile. It, does it cause any problem to um, communicating with um, your e-commerce platform or not? Um, this is the example Gini initiative. This one proposed by NSF America to develop new core functionality for the internet. And most of the significant private initiative, they try to have the fiber of the trunk line bandwidth นะครับ for the first mile while the last mile when they say that okay it's far away um, it's in the forest let's say or it's in the city is it possible to use a wireless internet services as the last mile นะครับ so um, in this one Genie initiative they try to just have the the big um, fiber optic trunk line bandwidth as the first mile and wireless as the last mile because they see that right now most of the people they try to use a wireless devices instead of having the cable to connect. The next one, when we talk about fiber optics and bandwidth explosion in the first mile. In this one, first mile, the backbone internet service that carry bulk traffic over long distances. While the fiber optic cables when they use fiber optic for the first mile. Um, it consists of hundreds of glass strands to use light to transmit the data to provide faster speed and greater bandwidth than copper. Uh -huh. It's thinner and lighter cable when you compare with the copper cables and less interference because it can be interrupted by the light only. Uh -huh. If it's sealed properly, I uh have -huh, no problem. While the copper cables, the um, signal นะครับ electronic signal can distort and can interfere um, the um, signal than the um, the fiberglass the fiber optic ones 
and fiber optic has better data security นะครับ than just the copper one substantial investment in fiber optic by many communication many telecommunication firms in last decade นะครับ so when they invest a lot they try to enable integrated phones band um, broadband access and video services together in their investment so that means you can see that if we are talking about the situation for the fiber optic in Thailand firstly นะครับ um, the company who invested a lot in the fiber optic was true นะครับ true company That one first time they try to invest that their fiber optic for the subscribers of um, the cable TV, But when the time goes by, when they had to invest in their fiber optic infrastructure already, they try to add on the services such as internet connection, through the fiber optic as well for anyone who would like to use the internet connection, of through at that time, you can just like um. Contact them, นะครับ and sign the contract with them. Um, at the very first time, นะครับ through try to just like provide the first mile as the fiber optic, but the last mile to connect to every customer's house, they use the copper, นะครับ copper cable. But when the time goes by, they invested a bit more, um, in order to have the device that can just like get the data directly from the fiber optic, um, for the from the first mile and then. Just connect to each house, นะครับ Um, in the last mile using fiber optic as well. And right now you can see that if you would like to request, um, to have the internet connection by true company, นะครับ You can just like use the um fiber optic as well, นะครับ Um, when we get like these kind of ideas for the fiber optic that can be used, นะครับ In order to Um, used with the internet connection, นะครับ The last mile for um this current generation, นะครับ We have been using mobile internet access. That is the wireless PL wireless one. Last mile means that from the internet backbones to users' computer, smartphone, and so on. นะครับ There are two different basic types of wireless internet access. The first one, นะครับ is telephone based. นะครับ that is mobile phones or smartphone or the wireless local area network or WLAN based นะครับ that is your computer นะครับ that use the wireless ones um they may use like different signals a bit because the telephone based นะครับ use the telephone um um data plans นะครับ while the wireless one they just like they can use the infrastructure for the um first mile นะครับ differently from the um Telephone based ones because you can see that for the um, other wireless local area network, นะครับ the first mile they can use the cables, นะครับ By the way, for the telephone based, they have to set up their antenna, นะครับ You might see just like um, if it is far away area, the antenna was is very large, นะครับ the big size something like that. The next one, นะครับ We talk about the wireless internet access technology, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, Bluetooth. Wi-Fi is high-speed fixed broadband wireless LAN, that is WLAN, or uh, wireless access point or hotspots. This one, uh, for the Wi-Fi, it has limited range, but it's inexpensive. Uh, it, it's inexpensive for profit Wi-Fi network. In this example, is on um. um The US case, นะครับ Boeing Go, Boeing Go and AT&T Wi-Fi services. But in Thailand right now, we have like these kind of um, for-profit Wi-Fi network as well, such as AIS, นะครับ that you can see like um most of the areas, นะครับ in the cities, นะครับ through internet, นะครับ okay. For WiMAX, นะครับ WiMAX in Thailand, นะครับ it doesn't use much, but in um European countries and other states, they use a lot, นะครับ WiMAX, um is a high speed, medium range broadband wireless metropolitan area network. Normally, WiMAX in um the US, they use they use um microwave signal, นะครับ in order to send and receive the data, นะครับ through the technology of 4G, นะครับ But right now you can see that 
it said that it's the medium range broadband only because um, the my WiMAX in the generation that is in the textbook, นะครับ they still use the 4G at that time. It doesn't have the 5G yet, นะครับ And the next one is the Bluetooth technology. This one is a personal connectivity between devices and to the internet, นะครับ So that means if you have your smartwatch, and if you say that you would like to let the customer to conduct their business transactions through their smartwatches, for example, if you have the vending machine. And then the customer can charge their money into their smartwatch, and when they would like to buy any products from the um, vending machine, they can just like pay from their smartwatch as well. Um, in that case, you may use the Bluetooth technology to communicate between that vending machine and that smartwatch. By the way, if you would like to use a smartwatch that has the Bluetooth, นะครับ um, technologies enable. You have to know that, นะครับ and you have to keep in mind that it is low speed, นะครับ and short range connection only. So that means if you would like to send lots of data, นะครับ it is not possible. Then somebody, นะครับ when they have to just like develop their e-commerce, นะครับ by using those um, gadgets in order to conduct. The business transaction. Apart from Bluetooth, they may have to integrate the Wi-Fi capability at the same time as well, so that um, you can send and receive the data more than just the Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth they just use for, let's say, identification and payment, something like that. These are example of the diagram to show the Wi-Fi network. From the internet, we have wireless access point and we have broadband connection to the internet. For the wireless access point, you may use different devices, including laptop computer, PC, or a smartphone or tablet computer to connect to the wireless access points. For the future internet, they try to solve the problem of the latency. So the latency solution, they try to have the diff serve that is differentiated quality of services. Some of the business, some of the business may not need to use like um, the high latency. Uh -huh. Sorry, um, yeah. Somebody said that, okay, low latency is okay for them. So it's differentiate quality of service according to the plan that you, that you would like to have. For example, some applications may need to have just like quick response time. For example, autonomous car, for example, the um, precision um, surgery that we use the robot to have the surgery, while the doctor, the surgeon is just like the other part of the world, something like that. Then you need to have the precise and accurate um, time when um, the, the, what to say, the knife is cutting on the skin or on the flesh of the um, patient, something like that. I have, so this one is about latency solutions that we have to think about. But if you say that, okay, your, your um, e-commerce doesn't need to have any kind of the um, very, very short time response, you don't need to just like think about this latency. Uh -huh. Next, guarantee service levels and lower error rates. Uh -huh. Ability to purchase the right to move data through network at guarantee speed in return for higher fee. So in this one, uh -huh, um, it started from the past that we got the um, lease line. Uh -huh. That day, um, the internet service provider guaranteed the speed. But the um, customer has to pay more. For example, you can see that right now, if you have to pay for the internet fee per month นะครับ at home, it might be just let's say six five ninety nine บาทประมาณ let's say, and you get um let's say forty up forty download speed let's say นะครับ but actually it's not guaranteed. Sometimes it's slow. While the um lease line, they guarantee นะครับ even though they say that okay, the guarantee speed is one megabit per second, you might see that it's low, but it will never be lower, sorry, it will never be lower than one megabit per second. So this is the guarantee service levels. And when the time goes by, 
um, they can increase guarantee speed, but you have to pay more. Um, but you can see that when I talk about just like um, the, the guarantee one megabit per second, okay, per month, you have to pay, let's say 2000 bucks because it's for commercial ones. Uh, but now you can see that you can get like um, similar price okay, for the higher speed, okay, higher guarantee speed anyway, declining costs. Okay? And the IoT, okay, it's object connected via sensor or RFID to the internet and spearheaded by EU and China okay, for the products that are Internet of Things. For the web, okay, the web here, starting from um, 1989 to 91, okay, when web was invented by Tim Berners-Lee at CERN, okay, um, he resigned already. Okay, um, I mean, after he just like, started the project of the web for um for a couple of years at CERN he just like resigned the reason why he resigned because he would like to just like set up his new company at that time so at that time he just like um invent the html http web server and web browser to be used and in nine, um, 1993, there was the first uh, web browser uh, that is the commercial one. It's called as Mosaic. Uh, um, I remember that I was in that time when Mosaic web browser was um, downloadable for free. Everyone was surprised about this web browser uh, because before that time, whenever we had to communicate with other people, it was text-based only. But when Mosaic web browser was started, they start having the GUI. Um, we had graphics on the screen. We had like some um, audio. We had just like some GIF. At that time, it was not a video. It was GIF only. Okay, and the low resolution picture. We didn't mind because at that time when we bought, when we bought a digital camera, I remember that my first digital camera was like very low resolution. It was just like um, the size of the file is around like, um, if I'm not wrong, 100 or 200 K bytes only. And at that time, I had to use SD card, sorry, CF card in the digital camera. The resolution was around uh, VGA resolution only. So we didn't mind if we get like raw resolution like that because I mean like it's, it's more convenient than using just like the film camera because the film camera, we had to go to the, um, to the, um, to the lab to just like develop that film okay, that it was the time at least two days okay, in order to get that um, that printed uh, picture while the digital camera okay, you just download that picture into your computer send it to your friends okay, or families through email at that time um, even though if, sorry even my friend who was in America um, I, I just like take photos of other friends when we had reunion and send it to him in the States. He was surprised because um, I mean, like um, it's easier than um, just like take photos by using film camera and then scan it because scan took long time to do and the resolution was not quite good then as well. So at that time, um, Andresen and others in, um, at NCSA in the States, he developed the Mosaic web browser uh, um, it was run on Windows. Uh, at that time, Windows was, the version was Windows 3, long, long time ago. Uh, um, Macintosh or Unix. For Macintosh, the interface was similar to um, the Mosaic. Uh, um, it was um, like the, the quality was surprising as well uh, here. Um, in 1994, Netscape okay, Communicator okay, or Netscape Navigator was the first commercial web browser okay, by Andresen 
นะครับ and Jim Clark นะครับ um, and Dresden and Jim Clark they resign from NCSA นะครับ and then they set up their um, company named Netscape นะครับ okay Netscape company in the states it was like um, as popular as Google Chrome right now that we have got นะครับ in year 95 Microsoft um, sent the first browser of it It was Internet Explorer to compete with Netscape Navigator, um, but it was not quite popular นะครับ for Internet Explorer. Then the way that uh, Microsoft did in order to make it become popular is that they try to make uh, window users to think that it is essential, นะครับ it is essential to have um, that Internet Explorer, นะครับ that Internet Explorer. So what did they do? They integrate Internet Explorer. In Windows, when you have to install Windows, Internet Explorer came with it. So, um, and later, นะครับ Microsoft found that Internet Explorer, if they force the users to install, นะครับ it looks just um not nice. What did they do then? They changed the name of Internet Explorer that forced the users to install as File Explorer instead. So right now you can just like still see the look and feel of the Internet Explorer a bit in the File Explorer in X um in Windows. นะครับ If you open up File Explorer, you may type the URL uh, in the location of the file. นะครับ So that it can open the web um the web page as well. นะครับ And then they separate the Microsoft Internet Explorer as another product instead. After that. We have um, the hypertext, นะครับ or hyperlink. It's a text formatted with embedded links, นะครับ That are the links connect the documents to one another and to another object such as sound, video, or animation files. Uh, we use hypertext transfer protocol or HTTP and URLs to locate resources on the web, นะครับ Like um, this one, as the example. Next one, นะครับ For the markup language, we have many markup language นะครับ that we have been using นะครับ from HTML นะครับ to XML HTML นะครับ hypertext markup language are fixed set of predefined markup tags used to format text and control looks and feel of web pages นะครับ the current one is HTML5. For the XML extensible markup language, is designed to describe data and information that has been sending from one um, point to another point. นะครับ And there are tags used. นะครับ These tags used are defined by users. So, is HTML5 ready for prime time? These are just like the um, the, the the cases that we have got. นะครับ Okay. Next. For web servers and web clients, uh, for web server software, web server software enable computers to deliver web pages to clients on a network uh, that request this service by sending an HTTP request, such as Apache or Microsoft IIS. Uh, the basic capabilities uh, are security services, FTP search engine, and data capture. Uh, For the web server, it may refer either to either web um, server software or physical server. Uh -huh. um, we can we also have the specialized server as well, such as database server, ad server, and so on. Uh -huh. While the clients, uh -huh. while the client, the web client means any computing device uh -huh. um, attached to the internet. That is capable of making HTTP requests. นะครับ And also displaying the HTML page. For the web browser, นะครับ I think this one is not. This one is not true. If you see the the data here. Um, for the web browser's information, primary purpose to display web pages. They say that Internet Explorer, 54% of the market. That was because when you install Windows, Internet Explorer automatically come with it. That's why it's 54% of the market. But anyway, 
for any of you who still use the Windows, นะครับ you can see that if you have a look on um like um our parents or our um brother sisters, นะครับ you will see that okay even though they use Windows based computer but The software that they use as the web browsers are Google Chrome rather than just like the um, Internet Explorer, นะครับ But if you um if the stat that okay, how many percent of people who install Internet Explorer? Okay, f i four percent is possible because it comes with the um, Windows, นะครับ Microsoft Fire, ah uh, sorry, Mozilla Firefox 20 percent because it's open source. Google Chrome um, 19%, Apple Safari 5%. I think the, the information is changed already. That one is not true anymore. For the features, okay. we need Internet Explorer to install other browsers. Yes, that is the origin one, original one, right, Manit? And after you install other browsers, do you still use Internet Explorer sometimes? No, not anymore. Yeah. Mm. Right. So that's why. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Cap. Everyone has to use Internet Explorer one time on day one that you install your Windows only. After that, you no longer use it. Right. All right. So in this one, have um the features, features on which the foundations of e-commerce are built. Have. Um, email, instant messaging, search engines, online forums and chat, streaming media and cookies. We use like um, the features that um, every e-commerce are built need to use need to have these kind of um, the um, features in this one. For the email, most used application of the internet. Um, it use series of protocol for transferring messages with text and attachment from one internet user to another. While instant messaging, it display words type on a computer almost instantly, and recipients can respond immediately in the same way. Right now, the instant messaging นะครับ is not um is not no longer stick on um. Computer anymore. It can be on the mobile platform as well, including your um, wearable gadgets. For search engines, we use search engine to identify web pages that match queries based on one or more techniques by using keyword indexes or page ranking depends on the algorithm that they update and use from time to time. Um, it's also serve as shopping tools, sorry, advertising vehicles, search engine marketing or tool within e-commerce sites. So outside of email, most commonly used internet activity is search engine. But for us, you may see that okay, we use search engine more than email. But in terms of commercial, um, they still have to use the um, email anyway. In order to confirm the order, in order to communicate to other people, because it's more official way. You can see that นะครับ when the time goes by, it will be changed. นะครับ because I mean like I remember that 10 years ago, if we talking about just like the Official way, of sending the documents must be printed form only. For example, for example, if a student would like to go for um, sorry, um, had had to absent from the class because he or she was sick. Okay, for sure, you need the medical certificate, right? And medical certificate, it was. Sorry, it is printed and signed by the doctor. So, if you would like to receive the attendance score, นะครับ or be exempted from your absent, you had to send that uh, medical certificate to your 
lecturer, right? Okay, 10 years ago, we say that, okay, um, you have to send, you have to send the medical certificate in hard copy only. So that means when you come back to university, you have to make a photocopy of that medical certificate. If you have many courses that you were absent, but if it's just one course, you can just give that um, hard copy of the medical certificate to the instructor. Otherwise, uh, if you send email uh, and attach that one, that is not count. Uh, that was 10 years ago. But right now, let's see uh, who will send the um, hard copy of the medical certificate to the um, lecture. Uh, because you never know, sometimes you lost that one already. But if you just like take a photo and you send it as an email, that is more proper way. And everybody accept that one already. So that's why right now the trend is changed. By the way, you can see that some of the people, they say that they send in, um, they send through the instant messaging like the line messenger um, for that um, medical certificate to the lecture. Some of the lecture is okay. But for me, um, in that case, if you have some um, some documents, have some important documents, apart from the line messenger, I also always tell the student that okay, please, um, please just like um, send the email to me too because um, you can see that for the instant messaging like line messenger, it's just like seven days only, have for the um, availability of that documents. Otherwise, if I don't download it. Um, it will be expired and I can no longer use it. Okay, next. How Google works in this one, um, a user enters search query and then Google receives search requests and estimate one to two million PC link together, connect to the internet and handle incoming queries and produce search result. Search requests will be sent to index server which maintain data about web pages that contain keywords, matching query, and location. After that, um, Google will use Google Page Rank um, to measure importance and popularity of each page. And also depends on how much that advertisement, sorry, that, that website advertised with Google right? for ranking as well. Um, it solves equation with millions of variables and terms these are likely to be best page for the query. And then small text summary are prepared for each web page and show or deliver to the user 10 to a page. This is how Google work. Next, online forum and chat. Online forum, also, um, also known as message board, bulletin board, discussion board, discussion group board or forum. Web application that enable internet users to communicate with another person, although not in real time. And members visit online, call, um, visit online forum to check for new posts. For example, in Thailand, we have um, pantip.com. Online chat, similar to instant messaging, but for multiple users. And typically, users log into chat room, into chat room. The next one is streaming media. Uh, for streaming media, it helps enabling music, video, uh, the last file to be sent in chunks so that when received and played, file comes through uninterrupted instead of downloading the whole file at the, um, in one hit. Uh, it allows users to begin playing media files before the file is fully downloaded. Uh, while cookies is small text file, deposited by website on user's computer to store information about user access when users next visit website and can help personalizing website experience and can post privacy, post privacy threat as well. Okay. For the web 2.0, we talk about the features and services for the web 2.0. Um, it provides the online social network that um, Web 2.0 standard provide a service that support communication among networks of friends and peers, provide the features of having blogs, 
ะครับ that are personal web page of chronological entries and provide the RSS or really simple syndication นะครับ or the program that help allowing users to have digital contents automatically sent to their computers over the internet or having the notification Also, it provides the podcasting app that are audio presentation to store as an audio file and available for downloading from the web. Wikis app that allow users to easily add and edit their contents on web page. And also, Web 2.0 provide music and video services like online video viewing, like in YouTube, app, digital video on demand as well. App. Also, um, by having the Web, web 2.0 standard, we can have VoIP, have voice over internet protocol that use internet to transmit voice communication. So you can see that right now, if any of you who use the Zoom on the web, um, it is a Web 2.0 features. Video conferencing, video chatting, and telepresence. Online software and web services like web app, widgets, gadgets, that you can just like plug in into your browser. That come from the standard of Web 2.0. Um, also, we may have the intelligent personal um, assistance, like the software that interact with users through voice command like Siri, like Google Now, like Alexa. Um, it helps processing the natural language and conversational interface with the users situational awareness and interpret voice commands to interact with various web services that users may be able to interact with. For example, um, right now it's like um, when you would like to interact with Google search engine, when we would like to interact with just like the weather forecasting, something like that. This kind of um, intelligent personal assistant can help us to communicate. And the mobile apps in this one, we can use the mobile apps um, nowadays. And you can see that the use of mobile app has exploded. More than 60% of online shoppers are mobile shoppers as well. There are increasing of use and purchasing from tablets or mobiles. In the past, I remember that when we had to purchase Normally we purchase through our computer, not mobile, because mobile had like some problems. We concern about the security, especially when you have to put the credit cards information in there, it's not quite secure. And the platform you may use iPhone, um, iPad or iOS, and Android. App Marketplace, Google Play, Apple um, App Store, Rims App World, we know for um, phone marketplace or even we have just like the, what to say, um, Huawei's app gallery. These are app marketplace that we may have. And okay, the last one is just about like, just like the, in, um, the case inside the chapter. And that should be all for this module. In this chapter, we talk about the infrastructure. That is just like the basic thing for, um, the e-commerce that uh, we normally use it in nowadays that have been here. Okay, so for this module or for this chapter, do you have any questions? All right, so if you don't have any question, I would like to assign you for the homework for the um, case study of this, of this uh, module. For module three, it's case study number three. I have case study number three. Okay, let me just show you here. I have, um, every team, please do the same thing. It is about the Akamai technologies please um, summarize this case first and then answer this case study question. So um, on next Monday, we are going to have the presentation for 
um, case study of module two and module three, นะครับ So um, each team, นะครับ one submission is uh, is enough. And I think right now I just like um, put all of you in the um, in the group already, นะครับ So that means when um, you submit it to me, นะครับ I see um, the whole group submitted, นะครับ Okay, right. So don't forget, นะครับ on um, chapter two. The case study will be due on Monday as well, นะครับ because I assigned you on um, past Monday, นะครับ that was the actually it's a holiday, but I just like um, have the class that I call it as makeup class, so that's why, นะครับ that's why it is it is just like the what to say, um, I have to just like extend the time for you a bit. So the next thing, what is the next thing that I want you to do in here? Uh -huh. Okay. Just one belong. Uh -huh. okay. Let me just like check this readiness of the file first. Okay. So I have this open case uh -huh, for module number four before we finish this one. นรันครับ yes ครับ we have two assignment due on Monday ครับ yes that's right so everyone ครับ um, I would like you to read this open case นะครับ this open case for the open case normally นะครับ um, we have I would just like randomly or I may just like ask for the ask for the volunteer นะครับ to help presenting นะครับ These cases to the class only, นะครับ So this case is about Wall Street Journal redesigning today's platform, นะครับ Um, I would like to let you read this open case before we just like um talk about the lecture for this for this um chapter, นะครับ So for the chapter number four. Uh, for the chapter number four, just won't be long. Have okay, everyone. Just give me a minute. For chapter four. It is about building an e-commerce presence. How do you gonna let other people know that your e-commerce is there, is on the internet? So we will learn about the websites, mobile sites, and apps that you make or you build your e-commerce presence. So in this case, I would like you to read the case for um for the. For the um, Wall Street Journal case, นะครับ and come up with a short short summary of this case, นะครับ this case is um around um three pages, three and a half pages, นะครับ we spend some time to do this one, so um let's do like this, ครับ I'll let you read this open case, นะครับ until we finish today's class, and it and then on Monday, นะครับ What are we going to do? Firstly, we come up with the presentation of chapter two and chapter three case first, and then we follow by um, the Wall Street Journal case, นะครับ For two teams, นะครับ Okay, ah, uh, sorry, not for two teams, two people, นะครับ So may I ask you, ครับ Everyone for our uh, for two volunteers. Of just like summarizing the Wall Street Journal case on next Monday, can I have the name of two volunteering students, Cup? Do anyone want to volunteer?
so no volunteer never mind then let me have two people นะครับ let I just like assign two people the first one Can I have s u j i n a k a p and s u p a g i t please, on next Monday, n a k a p s u j i n a and s u p a g i t Yes, ครับวิชาพัฒสุจินาอิสเฮียโอ้โอ้ really สุจินา just like visit the class only that's why your name sounds like very familiar for this class to me อ๋อโอเคโอเค then สุภกิจสุภกิจโอเค and the other one The other one, um, Justino, have Justino. Okay, นะครับ Next class on um, after we finish presenting the chapter two and chapter three already. Oh, sorry, it's just like auto spell. You know. Okay. Right. Okay. Kap. Thank you. All right then. Na kap. So please read the. Please read the um, case, the Wall Street Journal. นะครับ now. นะครับ we have around 10 minutes to read it here before we finish the class. นะครับ before we finish the class. Okay. So um, I will open up one breakout room. นะครับ just in case that um, some student would like to talk to me. นะครับ right. Okay. So um. Sujina, you want to talk to me? Okay, ค่ะอาจ Okay, ครับ Please wait for me in the breakout room, นะครับวิชพัฒน์ครับ You please read because you are in our class. Please read the um, Wall Street Journal case first, นะครับ And we discuss after class. And also g o r a m a t ครับ I want to talk to you after class too, นะครับ Right, so just spend your time, na ka. Let me just go to the breakout room for a while. I'll come back very soon, ka. สวัสดีค่ะอาจารย์อาจารย์เขาหนูขอโทษหนูหนึ่งว่าเพื่อนบอกอาจารย์แล้วเราหนูหนูมาเลิกแล้วขอโทษค่ะอาจารย์ก็ว่าคุณเรียนไปแล้วแบบว่าเสร็จปุ๊บลงเมื่อสองเทมก่อนไอ้เทมที่แล้วเออเพราะว่าถ้าเกิดว่าอย่างนั้นอ่ะอาจารย์จาได้ว่าถ้าถ้าเป็นอาจารย์บอกว่าเออขอวอลเทียสุจินาทำวอลเทียอะไรอาจารย์ถูกมาเงียบมาเออดีอ่าครับว่าไงครับอ๋อาจารย์เขาเลิกยังเขาหนูขอโทษหนูนึกว่าอาจารย์เลิกแล้วหนูก็เลยเข้ามายังไม่เลิกยังไม่เลิกอาจารย์เลิกเอ่อบ่ายโมงสี่สิบครับแต่ว่าคุยได้เพราะว่าอาจารย์เข้ามาในเบรกเอารูมละอาจารย์บอกเพื่อนเพื่อนบอกว่าให้ให้อ่านอ่านเคสไปก่อนอ่ะครับคุณดินาว่าไงค่ะคือว่าหนูกับวิชาพัฒน์อะค่ะติดเอ่อติดขอบเอ็ดที่เซ็นทันเจดีเป็นเจ็ดอะค่ะอ่าฮะโอเคเลยอยากจะปรึกษาอาจารย์ว่าเออมีคําแนะนําในการเลือกกับบริษัทอะไรดีไหมนะคะมีการพอดีพูดเดี๋ยวนะมีคําแนะนําในการเลือกอะไรนะครับอาจารย์บริษัทอะค่ะบริษัทใช่ค่ะเพราะว่าพวกหนูกำลังตัดสินใจอยู่ว่าควรจะตอบรับเขาว่าทําหรือไม่ทำค่ะอ่ะคราวนี้ตอนนี้คุณจะต้องสิ่งที่คุณจะต้องต้องคิดดูนะก็คือว่าหนึ่งคุณในการทำโคออฟ
ครั้งเนี้ยมันต้องไปแล้วมันไม่สามารถที่จะทําแบบออนไลน์ได้โดยปกติแล้วบริษัทจะเป็นไปคุณโอเคไหมในการเดินทางไปที่บริษัทอันนี้โอเคค่ะเพราะว่าอยู่ที่ประมาณลุมปีนี้โรงเรียนเก่าก็อยู่ที่นั่นลงไปได้ค่ะโอเคคําถามถัดมาก็คือตําแหน่งที่เขาให้คุณทำจ็อบเซสคริปชันมันถือว่าโอเคไหมคือรู้หรือยังว่าอะไรเออไปทําเดเวลลอปเปอร์ค่ะก็คือหนูหนูสองคนทั้งคู่เลยก็คือยื่นไปในฐานะแบบแบ็กเอ็นนะคะเพราะพี่คุยก็คือว่าจะได้ทำแบ็กเอ็นก่อนก็พวกหนูจริงๆก็คือแบบถ้าเป็นไปได้ก็อยากทําแบบลองหลายๆด้านเขาก็บอกว่าก็แบบให้เริ่มแรกฝึกจากอันใดอันหนึ่งก่อนซึ่งก็คือคงเป็นแบ็กเอ็นเพราะว่ายื่นไปอย่างนั้นแล้วเขาบอกว่าเขาก็ค่อนข้างที่จะคิดว่าไม่ติดอะไรในการที่แบบถ้าเกิดว่าลงตัวแล้วกับแบ็กเอ็นก็จะให้แบบฝึกด้านอื่นๆต่อไปโอเคทีนี้คำถามถัดมาทำไมถึงสมัครบริษัทนี้ไปตั้งแต่แรกเออคำถามนี้ส่วนหนึ่งคือไปเจอประกาศนะคะว่าเขารับแล้วก็แบบว่าเห็นเป็นอีคอมเมิร์ซในแบบนี้ด้วยอะคะ่ะถึงแม้ว่าจะเป็นแบบฟินเทคแต่ว่าถ้าเป็นตัวแบบเซ็นทรัลเจดีเองก็คือเป็นแบบอีคอมเมิร์ซโอเคทีนี้คำถามก็คือแล้วคุณคิดว่ามันจะมีเหตุผลอะไรถึงคิดว่าเราจะไม่เลือกบริษัทนี้ถึงไม่เลือกเหรอครับอืมใช่คือส่วนตัวผมครับอาจารย์เอ่อผมผมแบบอยากเข้าไปแล้วแบบได้ทํางานกับแบบคนเก่งๆอะไรเงี้ยครับอาจารย์แต่ว่าแบบตอนนี้คือบริษัทเขาแบบไม่มีแบบข้อมูลของแบบว่าเดฟที่อยู่ตอนนี้แล้วว่าแบบเป็นใครอะไรมาจากไหนอะไรเงี้ยครับก็เลยกําลังคิดอยู่ว่าเออเอาไงไงดีแล้วสองคนจําเป็นต้องไปด้วยกันไหมอืมจริงก็ไม่จําเป็นนะครับแต่ว่าเข้ามาด้วยกันใช่ครับโอเคก็ทีนี้ถ้าคุณคิดว่ามันไม่โอเคลักษณะเนี่ยมันก็จะเหมือนกับการที่คุณไปสมัครงานเลยครับถ้าเกิดว่าไปทํางานจริงๆคุณก็ต้องเลือกงานที่คุณคิดว่าคุณโอเคถูกปะถ้าไม่ชอบก็อาจจะไม่เอาอาจารย์ครับอ่าครับผมอ่าครับว่าไงเอออันนี้ผมแบบส่วนตัวผมผมแบบไม่รู้ว่าเกี่ยวหรือเปล่าแต่แบบว่าเราเราสามารถแบบถามเบสเงินเดือนได้ไหมครับว่าแบบถ้าจบไปแล้วถ้าแอปพลายทำงานที่บริษัทนี้จะได้แบบเบสเงินเดือนเท่าไหร่อะไรอย่างนี้ครับเพราะผมคิดว่าแบบเอ่อยิ่งถ้าแบบเบสเงินเดือนที่เขาให้เราเยอะเหมือนเขาว่าแบบเหมือนเขาต้องการจะรีคูดคนแบบว่าในบริษัทเขาควรจะมีคนเก่งมากอะไรอย่างนี้ครับเกี่ยวไหมครับไม่แนบเสมอไปครับไม่แน่เสมอไปบางบริษัทเงินหนาแต่ก็คือแบบเพิ่งเริ่มเพราะเขายังไม่รู้ทิศทางอะไรอย่างเงี้ยแต่บางบริษัทเงินน้อยอาจจะ expect เยอะก็ได้นะถูกปะ่ะแต่อยากรู้ก็ถามได้บอกเออพี่สอบถามหน่อยครับเอ่อนิวแกรเนี่ยถ้าเกิดว่าเข้าไปทำงานเนี่ยเงินเดือนของบริษัทเนี่ยสตาร์ทจากที่เท่าไหร่ทำเงี้ยมันจะไม่น่าเกลียดอ๋อโอเคครับผมเดี๋ยวผมจะลองถามเขาดูเพราะแบบนี่ผมอยากรู้มากเลยอ่าโอเคถามได้ครับแต่ต้องถามให้ถูกวิธีไงอย่างเช่นถามแบบคําถามที่อาจารย์ถามเนี้ยมันจะดูแบบซอฟต์หน่อยถึงออกปะอืมทีนี้ทีนี้เขาต้องให้คุณตัดสินใจเมื่อไหร่เหมนเขาจะบอกว่าแบบภายในอาทิตย์เนี้ยครับแบบว่าจริงจริงคือเขาโทรมาเมื่อวานนะคะแต่ว่าคือก่อนหน้านี้หนูหนูกับเพื่อนนะคะหนูกับวิชาพันนะคะก็คือแบบมีลิสต์คำถามแต่เอาไว้ว่าจะถามอะไรแล้วทีนี้คือเมื่อวานนะคะยังไม่ได้แบบคุยกับเขาเพิ่งได้เพิ่งจะได้มาคุยวันนี้แต่ว่าเมื่อวานเขาโทรมาถามก็เลยอันนี้คือผ่านแล้วเหรอใช่ค่ะผ่านแล้วค่ะตอนนี้เหลือแค่ตอบรับว่าจะทำหรือไม่ทำคุณคุณได้สอบข้อเขียนหรือสอบสัมภาษณ์บ้างไหมสอบแล้วครับสอบสัมภาษณ์ค่ะแล้วก็มีสอบเขียนโค้ดนิดหน่อยค่ะอืมโอเคเขาก็ทําตามขั้นตอนเนาะทีนี้ลองถามเขาหรือยังว่าเขารับเคยรับตอมนักศึกษาไปทําสหกิจศึกษาหรือว่าโคออฟเด็กเนี่ยที่ไหนจากที่ไหนบ้างอ๋ออันนี้ยังไม่เคยถามเลยครับแต่เขาแบบพูดคร่าวๆว่าแบบเอ่อรับเด็กมาจากธรรมศาสตร์จุฬาอะไรเงี้ยครับผมก็เลยไม่ได้ถามต่อเขาบอกว่าแบบปีนี้คือเป็นปีแรกที่เขาเปิดรับเลยครับเพราะว่าบริษัทเอ่อเซนทันเจดีเขาเพิ่งแบบ
ปิดมาได้สามปีประมาณเนี้ยครับไอ้ปกติเซนทันเจดีมันจะเป็นบริษัทที่เป็นอีคอมเมิร์ซเลยถูกไหมล่ะขายของใช่ครับพี่แต่อันนี้เป็นของเป็นฟินเทคโดยเฉพาะค่ะไม่ใช่แบบเป็นท่านเจดีของเบิร์ดคือเป็นแผนกแผนกฟินเทคใช่ไหมครับใช่ค่ะใช่เป็นบริษัทลูกอะครับอืมเป็นอาจารย์นะอาจารย์ว่ามันชาเลนจิ่งดีอะอืมขยายความได้ไหมครับเพราะว่าอย่างนี้เจดีอะเบสจริงๆคือคนที่คิดเจ้าของไอ้คนที่เป็นแบบอ่อินเวนเตอร์หรือว่าเป็นฟาวเดอร์ของบริษัทนี้เป็นคนจีนผู้หญิงด้วยครับผมโคตรเก่งเลยคนเนี้ยอาจารย์คิดว่าถ้าเขาจะขยายไปเปิดฟินเทคเขาคงไม่แบบเปิดหวยๆอ่ะอ๋อครับผมคือตั้งใจทำเนี่ยถามว่าคุณคือไพโอเนียถ้าคุณเข้าไปแล้วตอนมันเปิดมันก็ดูน่าสนใจดีนะแต่ทีเนี้ยบางคนบอกว่าไม่เอาอาจารย์อยากไปทำบริษัทใหญ่ๆจะได้รู้จักระบบเขาไม่อยากเป็นไพโอเนียเหนื่อยอ่านั่นก็แล้วแต่แต่บางคนบอกว่าเอ้ยโอเคไพโอเนียสิดีจะได้รู้ว่าเขามี tools มีอะไรมีวิธีคิดยังไงเขายังเปิดได้เลยฟินเทคต่อไปพวกเราจบไปทำไมคุณไม่คิดว่าคุณจะเปิดได้อะฟินเทคอะนะครับคือจะเอาไอเดียจากจากบริษัทที่เราไปฝึกที่เขาแบบให้เราไปเป็นรุ่นแรกเลยอย่ามองว่าเราเป็นหนูทดลองแต่สิ่งที่ให้เราดูก็คือว่าเราเป็นคนที่จะไปเรียนรู้โน้ตฮาวของเขาอะว่าเขามีวิธีการคิดยังไงซึ่งในอนาคตเนี่ยมันอาจจะมีเทคโนโลยีอื่นซึ่งมันมากกว่าฟินเทคซึ่งคุณก็สามารถจะใช้วิธีการแบบโน้ตฮาวพวกนี้เอาไปต่อยอดได้เออนั่นแหละอืมอืมได้ครับอาจารย์ไอ้นี่คือให้ลองคิดดูอย่างหนึ่งวิจพัฒอาจารย์ให้คุณอ่านเคสใช่ไหมเหรอทำไมมาคุยกับอาจารย์ตอนนี้อ๋อเออขอโทษครับพอดีว่าสงสัยมากนี่นี่เดี๋ยวนะครับแป๊บหนึ่งนะสุจินนาวิจพัฒเอ่อเดี๋ยวอาจารย์ขอไปปิดคลาสก่อนเนาะแล้วเดี๋ยวกลับมาในในเบรกอัพรูมอย่าเพิ่งไปกรมัดด้วยนะครับกรมัดด้วยเนาะเดี๋ยวรออาจารย์ด้วยนะครับได้ครับอาจารย์ขอกลับไปที่ห้องหลักก่อนนะครับโอเคนะครับ everyone so right now นะครับ I would like to finish the class at this point นะครับ so um, on the next class we will begin with the chapter two um, summary and the question answer นะครับ also when we finish chapter two already we move on to chapter three and then follow by um, open case for chapter four นะครับ so Um, just like um, finish working with your with your team นะครับ for the presentation on um, next Monday you don't need to just like make the nice um, presentation slide if you don't have time นะครับ because it's just the case study only นะครับ and then I'll just like talk about like what we have to do because I think on next week I will start talking about the the um, Uh, what to say the term project that we should just like start preparing it นะครับ some part of it already นะครับ so everyone up to this point do you have any questions ครับ